Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Talk of the Town. I'm Celia Klein with High Garden Real Estate. You may be able to tell by this view behind me, the beautiful Intracoastal Waterway, where we are right now. It is the last town before you reach the North Carolina border, Little River, South Carolina. If Little River, South Carolina had a main street, it would be right here, Mineola Avenue. Mineola is actually an Indian word for Little River. It was founded back in the 1700s, so it was actually one of the oldest settlements in South Carolina. And it's known for all the fishermen, the farmers, and it's continued to grow from there. Did you also know that Little River used to be the place that was considered the secret area for harboring pirates, smugglers? It has such a colorful history. fantastic places for eating around here. My goodness, we are obviously, as you can see, we've got our great restaurants behind us, including Hurricane Jewels, Crab Catchers, my favorite Patio's Tiki Bar area. Love that one. There's always great music here as well. It's also the hub for a lot of tours. So you've got the Big M Casino, as well as the Dolphin Tours. There's always something going on here. And the two big weekends you don't wanna forget about, we've got the Shrimp Festival and the Blue Crab Festival. And for the holidays, you've got the regatta here for all of the boats that decorate and the put all the lights on for the Christmas parade. It is so much fun. Always something going on in Little River. I've been talking a lot about what Little River has to offer along the waterway. Now we need to talk about what's happening on land. And here, that's golfing. Oh my goodness, for such a small area, there are some fantastic golf courses, including Glen Dornuck, Eagle's Nest, River Hills, and where I'm standing right now, Eastport. So I'm about to tell you about one of my favorite secret, now not so secret places here in Little River. It's called Vereen Gardens. Okay, if you've traveled this area before, you know it's the last town before you get to the North Carolina border. And right as you're about to take that exit to go towards Calabash, North Carolina, take that first right-hand turn and you enter into Vereen Gardens. This has a great deal of historical significance. The Vereen family acquired 400 acres all the way back in 1797, and a descendant donated about 110 acres of that in 1971 to the Horry County Historical Preservation Society for a whopping $5. And we are the recipients of that wonderful donation. This is such a beautiful area. Oh my goodness, the, the different wildlife that you get to see, the beautiful trees and plants and flowers. There's places to go fishing because we're still right on the Intracoastal Waterway. And let me tell you, the doggies, they love it here because the trails are plentiful. And there's just, again, so much significance here. If some of you recall, Highway 17 in our area up and down the Grand Strand is known as King's Highway. And that actually is because King Charles II wanted a road to be covering all of his colonies. And so way back when, that road went from the Boston area all the way down to Charleston, and a sliver of that path is still here in Vereen Gardens. So you've got to come check this out. It's got everything. If small town feel is what you're looking for, Little River is definitely your place. So here I am, standing in front of the Little River main post office in the middle of the week. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon and it is closed. Why? They shut down every day from 1 to 2 o'clock for lunch for the whole staff. That's right, you better remember that because, well, I learned it the hard way. So for such a small town, there are a lot of phenomenal restaurants around here. So we've definitely covered the ones that are on the water, but there are two I want to make sure are on your list that are right here, right off of Highway 17. One of them is the Parsons Table, and it's adorable because it's an old church and it's just beautiful. And the other one is right here, the Brentwood Restaurant and Wine Room. This Victorian home was built in 1910 and has been redone. And guess what did you know? It's one of the most haunted places in America. There's a ghost dinner tour. I haven't taken it yet. I have to admit, I'm a little too scared. 
but they've got lots of events and even wine tastings, so definitely check this one out. Now it's time to talk real estate, right? So first and foremost, it's important to know that even though Little River, you're seeing water everywhere, there is no oceanfront property with a Little River address. So we definitely have the Intracoastal Waterway to enjoy, but the ocean, that's gonna be for North Myrtle Beach and Cherry Grove area. Now, if you're living here, where do you go to the beach? Definitely Cherry Grove, that's pretty close, but you can easily go across the state line and enjoy areas like Ocean Isle or Sunset Beach as well. The one thing that I love about Little River is the variety of real estate here. So we've talked about that we've got some fantastic golf courses, right? Well, a lot of those come with golf course communities with single family homes and great condos like the ones you see back here. Some communities are going to allow short term rentals, which is going to be anything 90 days or fewer. And then some absolutely their HOAs will not allow it and you must stay in there for at least six months. So you've got to keep that in mind and check those HOAs before you invest in one of these properties. We've also got townhomes. We've got some great uh, big communities here with wonderful amenities. We have Bridgewater, we have Heather Glen, Hiddenbrook, River Hills, many to choose from. So if you are thinking about living in this area but you don't necessarily want to be right at the ocean front, you definitely want to give Little River serious consideration. I could talk forever about this precious little town. I love it. And you know what? So do my clients. I've had many who have decided to make Little River, South Carolina, their new full-time home here in the Grand Strand. So many places to consider. Lots of new construction too. So if you have any questions about it, you know how to get a hold of me. 843-321-9646. And you better hit subscribe on this YouTube channel so that you can see all my videos about the different areas of the Grand Strand and all the new communities. If you've got one you want me to go in video, let me know. We'll go there. We'll do it. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching.